What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Janelle, if you are right. Oh wait, what was my, what was my intro? It's your girl Janelle, if you are new, and if you're returning, thank you for tuning in today. Is that what I used to say? Anyways, today's video is a few updates on my skin and talking about how to find your unique and original self. And these are some ways and how I kind of get my creative ideas flowing and just really embody my unique originalness because I say this in the video, there is there is only one of you and one of me. One thing I can guarantee that is original in this entire world is you and me, so. I like talking about these topics and doing my makeup. Let me know if you like this setup. I just wanted to give a little bit more to my videos when I was doing makeup. If you hate this, also let me know. And a vlog is coming, okay? Where it's already out, okay? Also this dress, this dress, it's got little lace. It's from Revolve. I put my Revolve link down below so you can check that out. I don't work with them like on a consistent basis, but I still just like love their clothes. And I don't even buy every single one, but I'm like, if you guys wanna see what I'm liking, buy it. Oh, let's get into. Oh, okay. We're gonna go right into primer. The one size hydrating tacky primer. I want it all over. Oh, I forgot to hydrate. It's okay, I hydrated earlier. I have to get ready to film a podcast. If you guys don't follow my podcast with my dad, my dad and I kind of give a perspective from a daughter's perspective and a father's perspective on pretty deep, intense topics. I'm gonna do a solo podcast by myself today for the channel and talk about focusing on the things you can control and not focusing on the things you can't control. Go subscribe, that video will be up shortly. I'm gonna start with the plush put in by Fenty Beauty. This is the melon flavor. Anything melon flavored is so yummy to me. I'm so tired, I barely slept last night. <laughs> I just had like a good night. I went and had cocktails and had sushi and just, didn't sleep the best and was up super early. So we're gonna make my face look snizzled. Let's do a little eye cream. This is the Glossier, the bubble wrap eye cream. Oh, I love hydrated eyes. My skin, does my skin look scary? I can't really tell. I'm gonna mix my favorites right now. The Fluid Sheer in number 10 by Armani Beauty Luminous Silk Foundation in 5.2. Okay, I'm into this. Also, my skin is looking, my skin does not look cute. You guys have seen any of my other videos recently. I talked about how I started tretinoin. And while a lot of people do love it, you have to be so careful with it. And I started off with 0.25, which is the lowest amount you can start with when starting tretinol. And tretinol basically is a great anti-aging, acne fighting, vitamin A based, topical. While it has done wonders for people's skin and gave them a glass skin look, there is obstacles that you can run into that of course I ran into. By the way, you guys have been so much help with it. I should have put a barrier over this, but this is just so not, not pretty. Basically, I'm gonna wear this makeup, do my podcast, and take it off because I, God, I don't need this. In my life, but I started off with 0.25, which is the lowest dose. I was doing it like every day and nothing was really changing. If anything, I was getting some breakouts, but I wasn't noticing like dry skin. Hourglass concealer, I love this concealer. It makes you look so snatched and your under eye looks so good. You will see in three, two, one. Hourglass translucent powder. So anyways, back to my trend no end story. I then was like, okay, this isn't really like doing anything. I really want to get to 0 0.05, which is the next step up, which you really get the anti-aging benefits from. Cause that's why I started it. I didn't like have acne really. I just like don't want to do Botox because I'm in acting and you need your facial expressions. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, do some anti-aging and just anti-aging. Yeah, take me back to like my teen years when I was breaking out like crazy, I guess. Anyways, you guys have been so helpful in making me feel like not disgusting. I'm gonna do some light Ilia bronzer. I'm just gonna take, I love this brush, this hourglass brush. I should wash these too. And just go on my forehead. 
<laughs> Anyways, I think what I did is I was just like this other dosage of tretinoin wasn't working So I'm just gonna layer on this 0.05 and so many of you guys were like I watched your vlog It's my fresh start vlog of the new year of like me showing you guys new routines like my goals like whatever and you guys were like babe I got so scared for you in that video because I saw you layering that stuff on and you guys were cute and sweet because you guys were like, I didn't say anything until you brought up in your next video that you was doing something crazy. This bronzer looks so good. Don't sleep on it. Have you guys used the fluffy brow serum that everyone uses to get like really fluffy brows? I'll put the name somewhere in the screen. I saw it recently referenced and I was like, has anyone ever tried this? And did it make your brows like really fluffy and full? If so, I would like to know. I'm in my like fluffy brow stage of my look. I just want fluffy cute brows. Taking this Bay Brow tint watch it just is so nice because it just instantly darkens your brow like that so anyways now you guys i am doing trentinoin my 0 0.05 once a week i literally wash my face at night do my hyaluronic acid and then i do a pea sized of trent and then i put my moisturizer on should i change anything up my skin is still pretty damn dry and it's almost been it has been a week so tonight i was gonna do my trent like do hyaluronic acid mix with moisturizer more moisturizer because my skin is dry i think what i did is i made my skin so dry by going hard with that first like crazy amount of tretinoin and then a dead like dry skin layer sat on the top of my skin so i had all these little bumps on underneath my skin because the oil probably was like, girl, we like are stuck in here. Like, what did you do to us? Yeah, what'd you do? My Kosas Brown Nano, my favorite thing of life. I've never been a dry skin girly. Maybe it's my cleanser. I'm using the Matcha Cleanse by Tatcha. If y'all wanna deep dive into that and tell me if that is just so wrong to use, feel free to let me know. But yeah, my skin, I just wrecked it. The poor girl, she... <laughs> Also drinking alcohol. I drank alcohol this past weekend and on Valentine's Day. So probably should just be drinking water. And this is my new little concoction that is so good for you. This is cranberry juice, my secret, it's not really a secret, sweetener and spring water. I recently read that the redness from beet and cranberries and cranberry juice gives you this amazing thing in your gut. Like it's so good for your gut bacteria and the healthiness of your gut. You can only get it from breast milk as a baby and red, red dye type fruits and vegetables like cranberries and beets. Do not like cranberry juice, so I sweeten it and water it down. And this is like a nice little like, it's really good. But I'm gonna be vlogging this weekend and showing you guys new supplements I'm using, new drinks I'm drinking, just to make sure I'm maintaining, even though we got some acne, maintaining my youth and my glow and my skin and my gut because without those, we ain't that cute. For the eyes, I'm gonna take this MAC palette and I'm gonna go in to this gold. And I'm just gonna go, I love to just take my finger and just go all along the eye. You can take any, any gold. And don't worry, we're gonna, we're gonna blend it out. So, cause it looks like a little crazy right now. Also in my vlog this weekend, I'm going to get upper parts of my lips dissolved. I have had lip filler a long time ago and it just keeps migrating up as we have heard. It does that. So I'm gonna get some of it dissolved because I don't like the look on me. I, I don't mind my lips, but I do have migration up here. So I'll be vlogging that. Any fluffy brush and you can just go in and just buff out the edges. This one I didn't do too crazy. Okay, to kind of like dull it down a little bit. I just take my MAC Fix Plus. This is in a really light shade and I just go over it and I really set right here cause my lashes hit and then it creates these like black lines and I hate that, but I like to wear a lot of mascara. So not giving that up. Sorry, I'm talking to you guys so much about stuff. I really feel like we needed to catch up. I think I'm just gonna go for the liquid eyeliner. Normally, pro tip, if you're a beginner with liquid eyeliner, start to outline a cat wing and shape it with eyeshadow first. So I'm just taking this black shade in the same MAC palette and a fat angle brush. You can use a regular angle brush too. It's easier to work with. So I'm just gonna go and 
start creating a wing. I want it up and out. And like, look at it, it's not perfect. It looks kind of gross, honestly. Same over here. What is, what is that on my skin? Girl. So you just kind of shape, you shape your wing like so. You drag it up, you can make it fatter on the top. You can connect the bottom and drag it up here. You know, they don't have to be perfect. What I do, I take a really fine flat brush. It's just like easy to kind of move around eyeshadow. Maybe black's kind of hard, so don't mess it up too much. But it's easy to kind of like shape it and shape it. I love this. I love how it handles. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Inks Black Eyeliner. Ooh, she fine. Yeah, I'm just gonna start going over and it just like makes, you're like filling in the line. You're coloring in the lines, which makes like things easier. So that side's done. It was so quick and easy. If you mess up at all, you can just take your brush like that. Then you can take some concealer, which I'm gonna do on these. Okay, let's get into being original, finding your uniqueness, how to be original, why maybe you feel stuck. I recently had some realizations only because I took a little break from social media. This past weekend, I went up north to a more secluded area of Northern California. It's kind of like in the middle of nowhere. The service wasn't that good, so I wasn't able to really just be sitting on social media. Also, I have been dating somebody new-ish. It's been six months, we just hit six months. And whenever we're together and around each other, we are not on our phones. I don't care to be on my phone. I don't even really think about it and neither does he. We don't scroll, we don't sit. I've been on social media a lot less, especially this past six months and especially this past weekend when we are together. So, benefit their real mascara. Because I was taking some time away from social media, I started having all of these unique, cool ideas and I was just so inspired. And it was my own thoughts, or I would only be on social media for a short period of time, and I would hear a song or a phrase, and it sparked my mind, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna get off and I'm gonna think about this. Continuing to scroll and hearing 30 ideas or thoughts or podcasts in one sitting, and then I can't actually interpret or think through any idea or thought from someone else. To think for myself, you end up just forgetting it all. I'm gonna go in this is the Lancome hypnosis drama and just go over my lashes maybe I'll put like one or two falsy at the end I did not want my lashes to look clumpy but they kind of do it's fine so I realized with not being on social media or when I would go on and quickly see an idea log off I'd think on that idea and think for myself and I realized that a lot of the times and why I think a lot of people don't feel original or as unique is because we're robbing ourselves from our very own ideas and thoughts when we're constantly spending time on social media. We're constantly seeing other people's ideas and thoughts or stolen ideas and thoughts. When it comes to outfits, writing songs, writing scripts, wedding dress, like even like even thinking for your own wedding, you're like, oh, I saw this girl do this, so like, I'm gonna do it like this, you know? And honestly, being inspired is cool. It's one thing to get inspired, it's another thing to just be copying everybody. I think that's what social media does. It's gotten to the point where you're consuming so much content that you end up people, and not everybody, but people are completely copying each other. I wanna do this exact outfit, this exact hair, this exact makeup. I want my wedding to be exactly this with this exact wedding dress. It's just like, is anybody really original anymore? And I know that's a big argument in general. Like every, nothing is original, blah, 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 which can be true. But I don't even think people are putting their own spin on a non-original idea anymore or as much. This past week, I've been so inspired and I've had so many thoughts and I've been so excited about life and creating content and videos and like thinking of my own outfits and coming up with my own just like thought on topics and all that. Mm. So a few tips for being a little bit more original, having more original ideas, thoughts, thinking for yourself. And listen, it's not always easy and it's not that fun and you could be like, you know, I'm not that creative and I don't feel like it. Well, that's your problem right there, okay? We don't need everyone being robots. We need people thinking for themselves. And I think the internet makes people not think for themselves. 
This is a Tria Lash by Ardell. I clumped two of them together. And I'm gonna stick them in some lash glue and I'm just gonna stick it like that. I just want the extra wisp. Although I can't call all my ideas original because is anything original? I don't know, that's a whole nother discussion. I will just say for my outfits this week, my makeup, my content I've been creating and that I'm gonna put out, I just felt uniquely me. And even though we can argue that nothing is original, there's still ways you are one in a billion. Like there's no one else with your coding, your DNA, your nothing. You are uniquely you. So there are aspects to you that are very much original and that's why I believe there is still some aspects of originality. I don't think it's fully dead but we agree to disagree. I'm gonna take some more mascara and I'm going to hit these guys with some mascara. And listen, I love social media. I think it's so fun sometimes. And I think it is a good way to spark creativity, but I think what's happening is it's just being overused and you come up with an idea, but then you keep scrolling. So you would then see a new idea and then you think of that, like at least I'm speaking from myself personally, you guys may be completely different and be like, no, you're absolutely crazy. But this is just me and my own thoughts at, and what I noticed in my creativity. Charlotte Tilbury, this is not original. Let me tell you, let me tell you that. And I'm also gonna take, this is the Pillow Talk, original Pillow Talk. More ways to be more original. Get off social media completely or really limit your time. Yesterday, I looked at my usage of Instagram and it's about two hours a day and two hours of TikTok. So that's four hours a day. And I wanna cut that back to two hours, one hour on each app. And I think that'll allow me just to think throughout my day and plus get more stuff done too. I found I've been like so much more productive using social media so much less. I think also too, I'll be on social media for that hour and see one or two inspiring things and then I'm good and that's what's in my brain for the day and I can use that for my day, whether I saw a really cool outfit that sparked my idea. So then I'm not like having all this mishmash and then I go to get dressed and I'm like, I saw 50 outfits today. I don't even know what I wanna replicate and I'm, I'm even more confused than about what I wanted to wear before I even looked. And then you just straight up then go back on and then you're scrolling again or you look at an outfit and you completely copy it because you're like, I'm just gonna do that because now I'm gonna be late. We don't need that. Okay, Tickle by Benefit. It's more like a pinky highlight by Benefit and I'm just gonna hit the nose. Other ways to become more uniquely yourself is if you can, I know it's the winter time for us, us folks over here, go on a walk in nature. Here's my Dior blush. This also is not original, everyone use this. Go on a walk in nature. And if it's so cold out, trust me, I lived in a state that was freezing four or five months out of the year, maybe six, <laughs> yeah, like six or seven from like October to April. Listen, it's hard, but go for a walk. Put on your snow boots. That's another thing too. I've been skiing and walking and touching trees that are in the snow and I've been jumping in the snow. I even did a whitewash where someone like dunks your head in the snow and it's all cold. I feel like it was like a nice like ice bath for my face. And it's just stuff like that, that you're like inspired. You feel like you're in nature. You're touching some grass. You know what I mean? Like you ever hear the, do you ever hear the term go touch some grass? It's like, is the saying of are you that bored? Just go touch some grass. It might inspire you. And if you just take the time, you're slicking outside, you're breathing some fresh air, because if you're somewhere that's like really cold, most of the time there's not too much pollution there, hopefully not, then you get to like feel rejuvenated. I'm gonna take some bronzer. And I've been going right in the center of my nose, like that, to create, I don't even know, like a buttony look, like a buttony look. This creates like a, this creates a more button nose. I don't know. Let's wipe off my lip mask. And we're gonna do a red lip, y'all. I'm gonna go in with the Refi Red Lip Liner. I wanna wear a red lip more often. I don't think I do, I don't want to. Then the Refi Red Tinted Lip Glam. I'm gonna look pretty over the top, but I like this. It was just Valentine's Day and I didn't wear a red lip and I want to soft focus. 
If you guys have a better setting spray, that's amazing. Please let me know. I've been kind of using the same she's and I want something new and fresh. Okay, I'm gonna go pin up and blow out my hair. And while it's sitting, I'm gonna come back. We're gonna finish our little how to be original, be unique, be yourself talk. Looks like I got a few more pointers. My hair is set, setting. So I just wanna go over what I just talked about. So being more uniquely you, take time off social media. Go to that part in your phone where it tells you your screen time. Then it tells you which apps you are looking at, and then it shows you the usage of each app, okay? Try to cut that in half, you can do it. Or just go cold turkey and look at multiple platforms. I found when I was just on Instagram, just TikTok for long periods of time. I was seeing all the same type of stuff. Honestly, a lot of the same stuff spreads across platforms, but I think the most unique one, and I know a lot of you girls are on this because you guys watch YouTube. And if you're watching this and you're hearing this, I know you're on Pinterest. Pinterest is such a great way to take archives from years ago, currently, or whatever, and then save them into these collective boards where you can browse. Like what I love to do is when I'm not spending time on social media, so I feel like maybe I'm behind on like what looks good right now and stuff like that. I just go to some of my Pinterest boards and I look at collectively a bunch of outfits and then I go, okay, I can take like this skirt from here and this top from here and put it together. And then I just randomly have these pair of shoes I know will look good. And then it's uniquely my style. So cut down time on social media, use Pinterest for me. And this was always, 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 always hard for me. But, and maybe this is just me getting older, but journaling. Journaling has allowed even when I'm not in the mindset, I'm like, I have nothing to journal about. I don't have a poem to write. I don't have an idea. I'll write about my day or I'll like think of a word or I'll hear a song. And let's say the name of the song was Overcome. I'll then try to write poetically sometimes or not. What am I trying to overcome right now? Or if I hear a word like serenade, I will then write about a time I will serenade myself to love myself more. I think looking for keywords in your daily life and then maybe journaling or doing just like a small like little block of writing will help a creative part of your mind. Even if you're not working in a creative space, it helps stimulate the brain for me personally in a way where I'm training my brain to think like that. It's almost building a habit in your head to free think without social media, or even if I'm listening to a song or whatever, I think about my day, maybe what disappointed me, made me so happy, my highs, my lows, and then I just write about it. So I'm gonna put write poetry, journal, every day, every other day. Even to-do lists, if I start writing a to-do list of things I need to do kind of helps my my mind flow and can get creativity and production and productivity and everything flowing even if it's about grocery shopping okay I think one thing that has helped me learn how to be more unique and originally just me and adding my original swing onto things like trends and stuff like that I would say is really experiment if you're home one evening and you're chilling or if you have a child and the child's sleeping go through your closet and open up Pinterest or just think about people you admire their style and let's say it's Audrey Hepburn or Marilyn Monroe I love the way I mean, don't we all? I love the way that Marilyn Monroe dressed. I love the way Christina Aguilera has dressed at times in a more scandalous way. I love the way Audrey Hepburn has dressed. I love the way Nicola Peltz has dressed. These women, I love Kendall Jenner's style. She, her style is, is incredible. I, I think she's, I think her style is amazing. Hailey Bieber. I think looking up old paintings on the internet and history and like beauty back in the day it inspires me to look into my closet to see how I can find myself in fashion in a more timeless way. Because let me tell you something, that's my next point, trends. Trends kill me because we all end up looking like copies of each other in just different hair colors. <laughs> and that's kind of cool once you see it one, two, three, four times. But when I'm scrolling on TikTok, when I'm scrolling on Instagram and every 
single hottie woman is doing it, I'm like, this is so boring. I'm bored. Uniqueness and originality adds like a adds a twist of excitement. It makes you more exciting. So these are my points. I hope you like them. These are ways that I have just felt in my essence of originality and uniqueness. I'm not perfect, so I'm not always gonna be this like unique trendsetter, you know what I mean? But I definitely will find ways to just, even if you don't feel original or unique and you're like, I don't really have it in me or the effort, find ways to just be timeless. So when you are seen, it's not like you're a walking trend or a walking billboard for a designer brand or even just a regular company, you know? And I, I do wear brands that have their name and stuff on it, but I floated a, away from that a lot less. Like I don't wanna be in full jumpsuits and even wearing all Adidas or all this. And I almost think it's kind of cool just to not have labels anywhere. And as long as you keep yourself clean, put together, steamed, you don't have wrinkles, you don't smell, you can still make things look timeless, put together and have things in your closet from years and, and make stuff up. So I'm chatting, I'm gonna take my hair out and I'm gonna wrap this video up. What do you think of the makeup? Do we like it? Do we hate it? You know what I didn't do? Inner corner highlight. Cookie highlighter. I feel like this adds just a little sparkle to the face. Okay you guys, I really hope you guys like this video. I can go into a lot more detail about this stuff, like nail color and just finding things that aren't unique and original. First one to ever think of anything because I don't know if that is first one to ever think of anything, but I do know that when you wear things that are timeless and not always so trendy. Now, don't get me wrong, I am definitely not perfect in any of this. And from time to time, I love to try a trend. Sometimes I will see some cool nails and I'm like, I wanna try that. But I normally stick to timeless colors because then when you wear more timeless things, another point I will say, I found that when I wear more neutrals and timeless things, it helps people distract away from maybe a trend I used to follow and pay attention more to the things that make me unique. If I'm wearing just a nice black turtleneck with some white jeans and a belt and some nice shoes, Obviously, it's a timeless look, but then people will be like, wow, there's something about her. Maybe they notice your essence or your aura or listen to you more. I think sometimes with trends, they can be so distracting from who you naturally are in your own essence because the one thing I can say that is original is you. There is nobody else exactly like you on this earth. So embrace that and find ways that complement your body, your skin, your makeup, your hair. And don't get me wrong, if you follow me on any other platform or even this platform, I may try a trend. Like I wanna dye my hair red. That definitely has been a huge trend, if not has kind of gone now. Everyone came and then went with that. I still wanna try it. I wanna dye my hair or something, you know what I mean? Or like I said, see nails or whatever the case may be. But for the most part, I think if you wanna really tap into your unique original self, try those things out that I mentioned. I promise you'll notice some uniqueness, some essence, because I think a lot of people feel lost. The more and more trends are just coming and going and flowing, and then you're following the next trend. It's like you lose yourself in trying to follow every trend. It's exhausting. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Subscribe for more. Let me know if you like the look. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.